Let's turn it up. Don't stop, won't stop, can't stop now. Don't stop, won't stop, can't stop now. Don't stop, won't stop, can't stop now. Don't stop, won't stop, let's turn it up. What's up, family? It's your boy, Mr. T.E. How you doing, man? I hope you guys are having a blessed day, man. So today, I'm going to show you guys another strategy we use to implement in our business, which is called short sales. Now, a thing about short sales, they're very profitable if you have a property in this condition. If you got one in this condition, man, oh my God. Oh my God. Can you say jackpot? Can you say jackpot? Because that's what you got, man. I mean, you build so much equity. Like this property here today, it's worth about 160, 165 after repair value. So after it's repaired, it's worth about 165, guys. 160. I guarantee you, I'm gonna do a part two about this one. I guarantee you, we're gonna get this property for about 30 to 40 thousand. 30, 40 thousand. Put another 40 into it. We in at 80 thousand. You sell that thing minus closing costs. Come on, guys. We're walking away with about 60 to 70 grand, man. So short sale is a very important tool that you want to put in your toolbox. That's why they call me Mr. Transaction Engineer, baby, because I could, hey, we fly anywhere. Even when the recession was down, baby, we were still closing. Want to join the team? Let me know. Email below. You go to the website, MrTransactionEngineer.com. But, hey, back to the money. We're getting into these short sales, guys. One thing about it, how I learned how to do short sales when the market crashed, guys, you had to transition. Wasn't nobody wholesaling. Wasn't nobody rehabbing. Wasn't nobody rehabbing because all the rehabbers were gone. They retired because, guess what? The um, wholesalers wasn't wholesaling. They didn't have nothing to wholesale at the time. The rehabbers were scared to buy because they know they rehab. They won't get a full money, you know, full value that they put in. So everything was on halt for quite some time. It was a scary moment, man. I was only in the business two and a half years when the market crashed back in 07. So I'm like, oh, my God. But they never give up, never quit attitude. Like I say, you can't do nothing but win, man. So I just found other ways to profit in the market. While a lot of other investors, you know, they disappeared and they had to go to work. But I just, you know double down use the most important thing god gave it to us our mind and just put that mind to work guys and shit we did over three four hundred short sales man this is one of our short sale books we have this is what we used to show when we used to go to homeowners now i mean we our company is pretty established members of the bbnb so we don't even have to show all this but these are one of our short sale books that we used to take to our to our appointments and once we bust this big book open, man, come on. <laughs> it's a closed deal. And, and actually, one of the first properties we did a short sale on was a property that me and my mom bought together as an investment. So I'm going to give you guys a brief look at this one. So this is an 08 property. Let me show you what we got this baby down to. They came back with 62. This before I knew about the effects, that, the discount that mold, you can get with mold. So it came back 62000 right? I said, no, nah, I don't like that 62. So, guess what we got them down to? We got them down to 20000 guys. One ten to twenty thousand. Come on, man. So you know, once I got that, except my first short sale with a major discount like that, and it had mold in the house. It was on, man. It, I went crazy. I went crazy, and that's how we got all these and a couple more books full of short sale. So add that tool to your toolbox, man. I'm telling you, the paydays are great. And for all you guys, you know, you new guru gurus just popped up come on man we've been we've been at this thing since 05 baby 05 let me show you the checks we were still making money doing the drop this old checkbook man i had for just keep you know keep up like a scoreboard want to keep up with all the checks now we get wires back in the day we used to get checks and it take forever to clear <laughs> 
thank God for wires. They hit instantly. Bam. Okay, guys. So here's one of the one of the checks from the short sale. One of the short sales we did in 08. Just to let you guys know, we baby, we make money. We flying in the weather, baby. Like Birdman said, we flying in the weather. So this is a check from 08. 08, baby. Nine thousand. This is one of my companies. Ninety four five, flying in the weather, baby. This one, you seen the date on that? Oh eight, right? This one, oh nine. Just say one of my trustees I had on here. This oh nine, baby. Eight thousand four hundred and nineteen dollars. Uh, and as as you know, you can see right here we buy in land trust, or our our um. Corporation name. So that's another one. Let me show you another good one, guys. Oh, we hit. Oh my God, I remember this one. This is another one, old nine. Eighteen racks. I want you to see it now. These not fake checks. These this the real deal. 18 now remember it was a, a recession this is supposed to have been a recession but if you didn't step your game up it definitely was a recession in your house we we bunkered down man got to the money just it took a little mental shift like i said that never give up never quit attitude well you got to use it all the time if you want to win not just sometime all the time 2010 this is the last one man 2010. Thank God we don't have to have these checks no more, guys. That wire is a blessing. Get your money like that. 2010. That's the last one I'm going to show you guys. I'll block the address a little bit. Another one of our trustees. What that check say, baby? What did it say? 10 racks, 2010. So like I say, we've been doing this for a long time, man. A long time. Long time. So you plan to be in this real estate business guy for a while, I would advise you to get some real training. So I'm just get trained on how to rehab and how to wholesale. What you gonna do with the market crash? Tell me that when everybody stopped buying Everybody stop selling for a while. What are you going to do? You better become a transaction engineer if you want to stay in this business and survive, man, and live your best life. I promise you. Hey, that's the best thing you can do for yourself and for your family. Stay tuned. Let's, let's get into the details of this short sale. Okay, this is a short sale we're working on. As you can see, it's in very bad condition, which is good on the short sale because that's how you get them big discounts. Good. It's, when you got one look like this, man, it's a home run out the park, man. It's a home run. And this seller here just abandoned the property. Had some bad tenants. And now look at it. But like I say, these are the ones you want. When they got a mortgage on there and it's time to do a short sale, this is perfect. Perfect. These are the ones you want, guys. I just... It's a safe way to walk over here. It's the backyard. House need a lot of work. I'll say about a good 50 to bring it back up to the cold. But the neighborhood is hitting for about 165, 170. This need to be painted. 
like a total makeover. Let's go inside, guys. Like I said, this is perfect, man. Got a loan on it, I think about 100 grand. The bank know they gotta take a significant discount. As you can see, the tenant left it a mess. But, like I said, it's perfect for a short sale. Perfect. This is what you want when you're doing a short sale. This, if it doesn't need any repairs, guys, if there's no distressed sales in the neighborhood, don't even waste your time on a short sale because you're not going to get a good discount. i got to be honest with you. I've done over maybe 300 of these. Perfect, guys. Perfect for the short sale. Let's go upstairs. Waiting on the BPO agent to pull up now. And for those who don't know what a BPO is, that's broker's price opinion. So the broker's gonna tell the bank how much they think it's worth. Now, every time you're doing a short sale, they have what's called a, the bank order BPO, which is a broker price opinion, guys, or appraisal. They only pay these that realtors man about a hundred hundred fifty bucks so it's imperative that you're there when they come because you want to point out all the flaws to the property you want to get a major discount so you want to point out everything have your repair estimate if you can man have everything everything that's going to get you a discount on that property you need to come with it. you need to have your repair estimate your low comps you need to be around there with that bpo agent you need to make sure she's aware of everything. She see every flaw in this property. Because once that number goes back to the bank, it's solid for about 60 to 90 days unless you get a, your own appraisal or BPO. And that could cost you a couple of hundred bucks. And sometimes the bank still won't even go off of it. So that number, that number, that number, that number is very, very important. What that BPO agent or that appraiser come back in with, gonna make or break a deal, guys. I don't care what you say, what you do. That number is the most important thing in the whole process. So that's the number the bank gonna stand on, and they're gonna stand on that for about 90 days. Some banks will order BPO and appraisal on the same house. Some banks will only order appraisal. Some banks only order a BPO. It just depends on who's the investor behind your loan. So keep that in mind. Like I said, guys, this is perfect for a BPO. Great discount. This is the master bedroom. So, how's the repair value? About 165. We should be able to get it down about 50 to 40. Put about 50 into it and make about 60. That's a close, it costs probably like 50. Become a transaction engineer, and remember guess what? You're only one deal away. One deal away, guys. Only one deal away from changing your financial future. You're only one deal away for a paradigm shift. You're only one deal away from buying that car you want to. You're only one deal away from paying for your college tuition. <clears throat> only one deal away. Stay motivated. Stay blessed. Stay away from negative people, guys, and get to the money. God bless you. Let's turn it up. Don't stop, won't stop, can't stop now. Don't stop, won't stop, can't stop. Don't stop, won't stop, can't stop. Don't stop, won't stop, can't stop. Let's turn it up.